Hello and welcome to the 14 tutorial on the Bootstrap Free Series. In this part we're going to be looking at drop down dividers. We'll be using the source code from the 11th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. We have a drop down setup. You can also include dividers to help separate menu items, basically it's just a line. We're just going to show you in a real world website. If we go to twitter.com, if you click on your profile image right here, and basically these lines are dividers, so they just help divide sections. So data that is similar or buttons you can easily group them together. Instead of having several buttons that have several menu items, that can get quite cluttered, especially if you're on a smaller device, and especially if you have a lot of, um, lot of menu items, you can just group them like this. It's really simple to implement, so let's go ahead and open up our index.html file in a text editor. If you go to where your drop down is, anywhere you want your divider to be, you put, I'll show you what you need to put, you put L, I, actually one second, let me just zoom in, oops, lady, L, I, roll, is still presentation, and now for the class, it is divided. It's that simple. Um, Bootstrap handles the rest for you. So let's just save that. Zoom out. And now let's open up our web browser. Actually, we need to run it before we open up our web browser. So we have our menu item right here. We click it. And we have a divider right there, as you can see. You're not limited to just one divider. You can have as many as you want. So I'm going to copy and paste this below here. Let's sort out the formatting. Save it. Refresh our web browser. Scroll down. As you can see, we now have two dividers. It's literally that simple to implement dividers into your dropdown. In the next part of this series, we're going to be looking at disabling menu items within the dropdown. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. Uh, you can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. Our email will be in the description. If you want hundreds of more videos like this, check out sonarlearning.co.uk. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.